Some states, like Georgia and Colorado, are putting tax money back in their residents' pockets to counter rising prices. Tens of millions of Californians are set to get up to about $1,000. We hear from an analyst who breaks this down for us. Joining us now is Robert Hughes, Senior Research Faculty at the American Institute for Economic Research. Great to have you with us today, Robert. Oh, thanks, Kevin. It's great to be here. California, along with several other states, is sending out inflation relief stimulus checks. What are the pros and cons of this initiative? There's actually a few things that need to be considered. From California's point of view, of course, what's their financial position? Uh, California, I think, is running a, a budget surplus, so that's, that's a good sign. So they, they have the means to do this. Um, you have to ask whether this is really the most efficient use of their money. What other um, obligations they might have, underfunded liabilities, uh, how their infrastructure is doing. So from their point of view, it's, it's a complicated decision. Um, from a consumer's point of view, you know, it, it, I'm sure it's good to receive some money to offset some of these high prices. Okay, so you mentioned from the state and from the public's point of view. Now, do you think this will ultimately help or hurt Americans who are struggling with these rising prices? I'm, I'm almost certain it will help the people getting it. I believe there's income tests on it. So the people who are receiving these uh, stimulus checks are, are going to be um, the most impacted by the inflation we've seen. So for their point of view, it, it's going to be helpful. And it, you know, to the extent it can help them from taking on more, more credit card debt and, and worsening their own financial position, it's probably beneficial. So these aren't the first stimulus checks we've seen in this era of inflation, the pandemic, for example. During lockdowns, people weren't able to work. The federal government also sent out stimulus checks. How did these measures impact inflation that we see today? And are there any lessons we can learn from this? Well, it's, it, you know, it, it is somewhat debatable, but I mean, certainly the, the, the massive stimulus checks we've gotten contributed to some of the inflation we're seeing now. I think it's a, a bit of a perfect storm in that the lockdown recessions disrupted production. Um, you know, consumers, they, they were out of work for a while, but then they got all this money in there. Uh, we saw a surge in, in spending by consumers once sort of the lockdown recession was, was over. Um, you know, it's hard to get it just right from the government's point of view. I mean, you need to help people in, a, in a, something so unprecedented like a lockdown recession, and we've just never experienced anything like that. Um, on the other hand, you run the risk of, of these unforeseen um, impacts and, and the inflation has been a big problem. The inflation checks will help the, the certainly the recipients. I mean, if they're struggling with in California, their gas prices are over seven dollars a gallon, and that's before you know any impacts from the recently announced OPEC cut. So, um, and there's a number of things contributing to that. I understand there's a bunch of refineries that are undergoing um, some routine maintenance. So there's you know typical supply demand issues. Um, but it, stimulus checks for people who are, are hurting is, is a good thing. And again, it keeps them from going further into debt uh, through uh, credit cards, which they might use to just meet their basic necessities. Bob, you mentioned that the recipients are going to benefit from these checks. But now what are the cons to this program? Well, the cons are, are extra inflationary pressures. If you've got uh, extra dollars chasing a limited supply of goods, then you're going to drive prices higher. And we did see a lot of disruption to production uh, from the fallout of the lockdown recession. And so what advice do you have for Americans right now and, and the who, ones that are receiving these checks and also others that aren't? Well, I, I think everybody just has to be as prudent as they can with their own finances. It's not easy to deal with rising uh, inflation, in, uh, particularly for necessities and basics of life. Um, you know, be as prudent as you can, um, cut back where you need to, and, and just hopefully uh, the policies that are being put in place are going to help ease these inflationary pressures and we can get back uh, to a little bit more normal environment. Well, hopefully that comes sooner than later. Robert Hughes at the American Institute for Economic Research, pleasure speaking with you today. Thanks, Kevin. It's great to be here.